Fuel is one of the most important resources in Escape from Tarkov and also incredibly expensive. So today we're going to be talking about the best place to find it across reserve so you can power your generator or simply just make some sweet cash on the side. Starting from one of the most iconic locations in reserve, the dome or the weather dome, we're going to be heading straight away from this area down into the tunnels. Now the tunnels are these little areas that connect the dome and the white pawn building, which is the large four story building closest to the dome. But the tunnels have a lot of good loot that I talk about in many other videos, whether it be keys or intel, it has so much down here to offer. But one thing that people don't seem to realize about the area down here is how much petrol it has to offer as well. As we walk to the first door here, we're going to find about two to three different spawns for expedition fuel tanks. You can find them laying around the ground here on the left hand side. But as you push through and down past the server racks, we're going to take the stairs on the right towards the back tunnels here. Now this area is very, very often overlooked, but on the right hand side near this blue tray and also next to it nearby is a spawn for both types of fuel. Now not only is there many other good loot spawns down here like Miltech, Intelligence and Keys, but while you're down here you can definitely be checking for these fuels. We're going to head down into the Metro S tunnels and underneath this spotlight is another chance for fuel. And each and every single one of these gaps that I'm checking where you can see those water filters is another chance for fuel. So not only the one that I just find just here, the blue expedition fuel, but many other types can spawn down there, which is the large metal can as well. So when walking past this area, make sure you check all the gaps because it's very easy to walk past and not pay attention. Now, obviously with found and raid flea, a lot of fuel is going to be incredibly expensive to buy. So what you guys want to be doing is making sure that you go through and if you are looking for the listings, find the one that actually has a full can. As we're coming up here into white pawn, you're going to be noticing that we're going to go straight towards the basement. And as soon as you're in the basement, we're going to head left to this far end door past the cage here and on a shelf down the bottom on the top and also in front of the shelf is another spawn. But we're going to head outside towards the chopper here. Now you don't have to do this every time because this is very dangerous, but on a scav run near these generators around the back of the chopper and also the orange trucks, you can find some really decent spawns for fuel. Although this area is incredibly dangerous, I wouldn't recommend doing this on your PMC like I said earlier as you are very exposed to multiple angles. But if you do come here, you can check around these trucks if you're very desperate for fuel and also on the top of this back one here. Okay, so heading away from these trucks in front of black pawn here, we're going to be heading out towards the E-Bunkers, another very dangerous area, but there's a really good couple spawns out here anyway. Checking near this generator and also the portable generator on wheels here, you're going to be checking around the sides of it for a fuel can. As we head towards this radar tank, on the left hand side is another spawn for fuel. As we head towards White Bishop here, you can notice that it's opposite school here on my left side. And we're going to be heading straight inside and down towards the basement. Now, not only is there a few good spawns for Miltech Intelligence, but there's also on this blue scale here is a spawn for fuel and to the right of it. And while you're here, you can check for the PSP81 key as well on the edge of the seat. Now, we're going to be heading away from here into the other side of White Bishop Basement, past the Intel spawn here in the kitchen. But on the left hand side here is another two shelves. Alright, so we're going to be heading into King here and one of the most dangerous buildings in the game. And there's a few really good loot spawns in here that we're not going to cover today. But we're going to be banging straight up to the third floor. Now, as soon as you're on the third floor, you can either head to the left or you can head to the right. Now, if you're not sure where we are, there's the entrance to the door. So we're going to head to the right first here for the sake of time. And we're going to chuck a left again. And then we're going to go to this room with a bunch of shelves in it. Now, these shelves can spawn fuel plentifully. If you're not sure where we are, the dome is just directly that way. So it's the side facing the dome or the southmost side of King. But we're going to be heading back to another storage area here, which can spawn fuel on the bottom, middle, top, and also in front of the shelf. So when coming in here, make sure you have a good look around because there's a lot of good spawns. But let's head towards Black Knight. Now, if you're not sure the Knight buildings, these are the two most dangerous buildings in reserve, in my opinion, because of Gluha or the Scab Boss. But while you're here, there's a few good spawns you can check along the way. The first one is in the outside garage here on these brown shelves here you can find some really really good chances of fuel i found a couple decent spawns in there 
And while you're there, you can pop over to the gas station, which is just next to it. And you can also get a few great spawns nearby. While you're here, you're going to continue to run towards Sewer Manhole, which is closest to the dome and a very dangerous and exposed area. But while here, next to the portable generator, right next to the manhole, is another expedition fuel. Once again, this area is really exposed, but you have another area close by, which also has a good chance to spawn them as well. Now, as we head further towards the night garages, we're going to be finding the third spawn in close proximity, just over the top of these boxes near the barrels at the back here on the sandbag. Now these are some great spawns, but like I said, this is very exposed, so be careful when doing these. Now we're going past RBST, a very famous room in reserve, and near a generator once again, and also on these pallet boards, is another chance at a fuel spawn. Now guys, these aren't going to be here every time, because a lot of these spawns are quite rare, and fuel is still worth a fair bit of money. But if you do check these regularly, you can make a lot of money, and there is a lot of money to be made. But as always guys, they're not going to be there every single time. So near these barrels, make sure you check once again. There is a few good spawns and also on the side closest near these green barrels is another chance for fuel. Like these generators nearby, check the pallet boards because these are a great spawn for fuel. So whenever you see any generator with wheels, generally a good chance is there is a spawn nearby, especially on reserve base. So we're checking the last radar dish where you can actually check the back here on the pallet board for another fuel spawn. So now we're here at Rook. Rook is one of the most famous buildings in reserve and it's where the train rocks up, the armored train exfil. As soon as you're heading inside Rook, we're going to head up to either side of the platform and we'll be checking a couple spawns. Now Rook has about four known spawns and obviously there may be more that I may have missed. But the first one's going to be just underneath these stairs here. You're going to be able to check there. Also there's a barrel near close by that has another spawn next to this chair and also blocks of concrete here. And if you head past under these last pair of stairs, there is also another spawn here and behind the platform there. As we head further back towards the side of the E2 bunkers, we're going to be going down past these boxes here. And just at the back side here near the barrel is another spawn for a fuel. I've actually seen two spawn there at the same time, so it is possible. Heading to the opposite side of the platform or the side facing Hermatic, there is another spawn here which can be found near these little pallets. So make sure you check this on the ground nearby. Now we're here at Outpost, which is just out the front of Rook, if you're not sure where we are, in front of K Station. And near these barrels is another chance for fuel. So you're starting to get the idea that Reserve has a lot more spawns for fuel than you realize, right? So if you guys really enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below and I'll actually cover other maps. But Reserve is my baby and I felt like I had to cover this map first. And you're probably seeing why. So we're at the Hematic side of K buildings and we're going to be checking some of these shelvings nearby. The first one here near a light is a great spawn and that's, I get this one quite regularly. And while you're here, you can also check this back shelf here for another fuel spawn and also paracord nearby while you're at it. As we heard, head deeper in towards the K buildings, there is another two additional spawns right near this pipe. You can actually get two at the same time. So this is a great spot. But we're going to be heading into Hematic Bunker. So this is one of the most common extracts or the buzzer alarm extract for a reserve. But if you head down into the basement towards the PSP cages, there's a few little spawns down here that people actually walk by a fair bit. The first one is going to be these shelves down here that can spawn fuel. As you can see where I pulled this expedition fuel tank, you can also find some cool things like tank batteries. So while you're down here, if you're not already searching the cages with the keys, which I talk about in a couple other videos, you can also be checking for petrol. And these little pallet boards back near the back of these spools here, especially on these concrete bags here, you're going to be finding a lot of great fuel spawns. There's actually about three scattered around that small area. And while you're here, you can pop over to the other side where there is some industrial shelving here on the left-hand side and checking once again for some more amazing spawns. But guys, as always, be careful when you're down here, especially after the buzzer has been hit for two reasons. Once again, Gluhar, the scab boss, and you also have raiders. So let's head back up towards the Hematic Extract and we'll be running past these two trucks and checking the third and fourth spawn down here on these little platforms there. But let's buzz up and let's go super quick all the way up to Hematic here. So once you're in Hematic, we're actually going to go along the little connecting corridor. Once you head past the Hematic Extract, chuck a right through the tunnels nearby and we're going to be heading to the back of a truck with a canvas back. 
and the canvas back isn't there, but you're going to be noticing in the back of the truck is another great spawn. There are a few other good spawns in here like Paracord that I talk about in some other videos found in these blue shelves. But at the back here near a generator on top of these green crates is another spawn for fuel. So let's head away from this area into the last area, which is one of the scav extracts called Heating Pipe. If you're not sure where this area is, it's basically the area between Hermetic and also Scavland. So there's a few good spawns along here, especially in this open crate here. I find this one quite regularly right in the middle of your path right there. As we head away from this area, we're going to be heading towards a little garage or a little parking shed here. And on the bench nearby is another great spawn for fuel. Also at the back of the van is another additional spawn. Hey guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this in absolutely any way, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And as always, I stream five days a week on Twitch. The link for that will be featured down below. If you have any questions about anything you saw here today, or you'd like a follow-up video with other maps, make sure to let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to oblige. If you guys really enjoyed it, I may make a series with all the other maps included. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.